for our second interview for SKP Labs, we have Charlie Trotman here. Hey there. Why don't you start us off by uh, telling us a little bit about yourself? So, uh, like you said, I'm Charlie Trotman. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, but right now I am a senior at Miami University in Ohio on a games and simulation major. Um, I'm a junkie for fight choreography and video games, particularly like multiplayer video games and RPGs, stuff with like lots of little numbers in it that I can really get myself stuck into. Uh, I wanted to, I realized that I wanted to go into video game design when I realized I had kind of been doing it already for a while, thinking about these things about like, oh, well, what if this character was in Smash Bros? What if this character was in Heroes of the Storm? Overwatch, what if we had a character that could do this? Thinking about those sorts of things and how that would all balance out, I realized I'm probably one of the more qualified people to do this because I'm already thinking about it all the time. What do you do for SKP Labs? So I'm the project director for SKP and I'm also the coder. So I'm the one who originally came up with the concept of the game. Uh, I'm the one who sort of decides where it's going with feedback from our other two members, of course. And I'm also the one uh, tinkering around under the hood, making sure that everything works. Okay. Um... What made you want to create this project idea that we're working on the others? So this was something that I really wanted to do while I was still in school and still could do it because the privilege of being uh, a director and having that sort of creative input is a privilege that in the industry you kind of don't earn until later. You tend to start working on just helping people with their projects before you get to do stuff where you can um, go in your own direction and sort of make things that appeal to you. So I wanted to see if there was a way where I could sort of uh, prove myself in that regard, as silly as that might sound, uh, before getting into a job setting. Have something in the portfolio where you can say, uh, hey, I can design these things, not just um, code them and not just make sure that they're working. Um. Piggybacking off of that, how do you feel about your workload as simultaneously the project director and the only coder? So it's, um, it, it, it's, it's kind of a burden sometimes, but it's one that I put on myself and it's one that I'm totally okay with because I'm a very particular person, all of my friends can attest to this, um, I really like to be the one in control deciding where things go. Um, and it's, it's been worth it for me trying to work both of those angles at once because on the coding side, while I'm the only coder, I'm also not having to, um, I'm getting to decide the way that everything's done. And it's sort of, I get to have the full scale view of the code in front of me. So uh, that's been nice. Um, how has your work on this project evolved and what do you think about that change? Um, in this second half of our project for uh, this school semester, we have been working on getting a lot of uh, legitimate art in there instead of just placeholder art assets. Um, so that's something that I've also kind of wanted to play a role in as the project director is trying to get things from my mind out to where our other two members and our artists can make something with it. So that's been an interesting process, figuring out how to uh, how to get the details that are important to me in there, like uh, maybe not listing details and just letting them attack the task through their own workflow. Uh, because sometimes I'll also include details and I'll realize later that the details need to be changed. So if that's their priority, it ends up not being a good thing. And I also want them to enjoy that. And I think that it's gonna be a better product if any, if everybody has that little bit of passion for their individual tasks that they can be doing. What do you wish that you could have done differently earlier? Earlier in the project, uh, I worked a lot with trying to lay the groundwork for a lot of different pieces of functionality. At the same time, trying to think of all the little ways where we wouldn't make moving around and attacking and turning around and getting hit 
uh, clash with each other, come into conflict, produce a lot of bugs. So for a long time, the game wasn't in a playable state. We didn't have that level of functionality because I was sort of trying to work on uh, everything slightly as opposed to one thing perfectly. And that's something that I wish I could have changed because now that we've entered the playtesting stage, there's so much stuff that we have learned about the basic functionality that would have been really good to know as opposed to trying to focus on getting everything from our plan in there, which will change. Your plan will change as you start figuring out how people interact with it and as, as the project starts to gain a life of its own. And finally, what has been the most exciting part of working on SKP? Most exciting part of working on SKP is seeing other people get excited about it. Because this was originally my idea, this was originally something that I wanted to do. We had a much smaller team compared to the size of the other teams at the beginning, so it was a little daunting. Um, but seeing other people get excited about it has made me more enthusiastic about wanting to continue working on this project when sometimes I just want to get through this semester, get it done, and then just sort of leave it and work on something newer. Uh, when I see all of the stuff come together in such this cool way and see that even with all of the flaws that it has right now, people are still interested in seeing it um, and other people are still really excited about seeing it, it's made me want to keep working on it. It, it proves to me that there's still promise in it. All right, well, thank you for your time, and uh, hope you're as excited as the rest of us are on uh, where we're going forward. Oh, I am. <laughs>